So good afternoon. I'm very pleased to welcome the President of uh, Cyprus, Nikos Christodoulides, to the European Parliament. Dear President, dear Nikos, I congratulate you, first of all, on your uh, recent election, and it is an honour to receive you here in the House of European Democracy. Europe will never be complete uh, as long as Cyprus remains divided. And I want to emphasise on your first official visit to the European Parliament this division of an EU member state is not only a Cypriot issue but a European one. We will not turn our backs uh, on Cyprus and our joint ambition to see the reunification of your island under the auspices of the UN peace plan. Cyprus's uh, solidarity with Turkey after the devastating earthquakes last month is proof uh, that we can build trust and I very much look forward to your proposals, uh, to a new impetus, to the resumption of negotiations between the new uh, communities. Cyprus is our main gateway to the Middle East, to Asia, to Africa. I am aware of the challenges that Cypriots face in terms of migration. And again, this isn't a Cypriot issue. No member state uh, should uh, be left alone to cope with migration flows on its own. And that is why we must press on with uh, updating our own legal framework, uh, the reform of the common European asylum system, and in this pact we have an approach that is just and humane with who is in need of protection, that is fair and firm with those who are not eligible, and that is strong with those smugglers preying off the most uh, vulnerable. Cyprus is the heart of Europe, and I look forward to strengthening our bond in the future. Dear President Christodoulides, the floor is yours. Dear Roberta, thank you very much for the, the opportunity. I'm looking forward to working closely with you and, of course, uh, the European Parliament. I would like to thank you for being a strong supporter of, of Cyprus. I know very well your sensitivities. I want to thank you for your recent participation in the photo exhibition regarding uh, Famagusta. It is another indication of your strong interest uh, for the solution of the, of the Cyprus problem, which very correctly you mentioned is a European problem. And uh, I'm in Brussels, my first visit following my, my inauguration as President of the Republic of Cyprus to discuss uh, a number of uh, issues of common concern, including, of course, the Cyprus problem and how the European Union can help us uh, to return back to the negotiating table and solve uh, the Cyprus problem. I really believe that the uh, uh, European Union can play a catholic role in order uh, to bring the, the Turkish side back to the table and through negotiation from the point that it was uh, stopped back in 2017 in Grand Montana to reach a settlement of the Cyprus problem. Of course, there are other issues of common concern that we are going to, to discuss. You mentioned very correctly migration, uh, a very important and serious issue in Cyprus and not only, an issue that we need uh, European Union solidarity. We need to show in action uh, the burden sharing of uh, all member states, but also, of course, we'll discuss uh, Ukraine, uh, Cyprus stands in the right uh, part of the history, no violation of the sovereignty, the territorial integrity of any country can be uh, accepted, and also other issues. I know very well you are interested on the uh, youth issues, and I'm looking forward to, to our discussions. Thank you very much. Thank you. Metzola. Yes. Uh, how do you see, especially the current geopolitical context uh, with the war in Ukraine, the idea of an EU enhanced effort to help uh, um, uh, regarding the negotiations in Cyprus for the resumption in the context of the UN uh, uh, decisions? And is this something that you will be discussing with President Christodoulidis? Yes, absolutely. First of all, I look forward to listening from the President on his. Uh, uh, proposals uh, for a new impetus on the resumption of, of negotiations, also as the President just said in his comments. Uh, for us, we can be as clear, uh, as, clear as, as ever. Uh, we stand uh, ready to support in all possible ways. We will put uh, uh, all uh, our resources at your disposal. At the end of the day, uh, peace is our, is our number one uh, aim, uh, and also uh, that uh, the resumption of negotiations between the two communities is continued with earnest. Thanks. Thank you.